Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shining Wisdom, and we are fighting Pazort. And by fighting Pazort, I mean we are sending clones to kind of do our dirty work for us. But it doesn't matter, because they are beating the crap out of him for us. They are actually making short work of him. Oh, he has explosive beam eye beam lasers. That's not fun. Let's not stand in the middle of that, shall we? That would be bad. Oh, 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 damage. Eye beam lasers. The eye beam lasers are kind of a threat. All right. Everything else is kind of more easily avoidable. And our clones are making this rather easy. All right. Let's heal up because he's hurting us a little bit. Yeah, that shield kind of obnoxious, but really not the worst boss mechanic we've faced in this game thus far. So, especially since our clones are getting multiple hits on him, I really don't know how many hits he can take, or if uh, I'm doing extra damage to him in other formats, or like if he takes extra damage. It's one thing I've never figured out about this game is, do bosses take uh, specific damage from specific things? They should, it should, but I really just don't see that. It doesn't seem like it's it's coded into the game like that. If it does, it's it's a minuscule amount of extra damage. But that's that's kind of a, a disappointing thing, and we've beaten him in less than two minutes. So how can this be? Jaws has taken his revenge from the beyond. I have saved the best surprise for last. I'll not be traveling to the underworld alone. You're coming with me. Or how about not, Billy? Let's just, uh... Why can't I angel wing out? That would be perfect. Like, that's... I have angel wings. And there's Kazen. He wakes up just in time to hear... Hazard's defeat. Oh, okay, so that, uh, he, he woke up. Wait, it sounds like Mars actually won. What is he talking about? I don't like the sound of that one bit. Alright, so he wakes up just in time to hear us fall into the abyss, basically. And he gets knocked down again. Kaysen's really kind of useless in this game, I gotta say. We promoted him to a summoner, and he's just not using any of his, his magic. I'm quite disappointed. Same with Sarah. Sarah's a master monk. I don't believe what I'm seeing. The West Cape in the center of the marsh. Pazort's last act of defiance just decimated this place. And we are nowhere to be seen. This marsh is a really interesting place, considering it's underground. And there's what looks like fire along the... Like... Or perhaps not. This can't be happening. After all Mars endured to get to this point, he finally saves our land at the expense of his own young life. Why couldn't it be me? I would gladly trade my life for his. If I were not such a poor fighter. Well, you were a, a, you're a caster. And you fought by Bowie's side, so... You took down the King of the Devils. There's only so much you can do to save the world so many times. That's... Mars saved the world, you couldn't save him. That's just somehow... Or sometimes that's how things go. I want to know how he jumped from there to there. Like, we couldn't really get from one side to the other easily. And we went through a special dungeon to get, you know, extra bouncy boots. Has the Dark Titan's revival been complete? No, no, the Dark Titan's been defeated. So, but that means we're all safe. Yeah, but at what cost? He will be the most revered hero in all of Odegon. Well, 
what about... I didn't tell you about... Everyone in this kingdom are idiots. That's the, the long and short of it. That is what the takeaway from this is, folks. The kingdom of Odagon, bunch of idiots. I heard that you prevented the return of the Dark Titan, except for where did uh, where, where, where'd Mars go? Like, is everyone forgetting that Mars was the one who was doing all this, and that Parn, like, really, guys, this is... But the price was quite high. The, everyone here is just a bunch of... I'm glad you beat that stuck-up Mars to the Titan. And... You don't know what he's done for us. He's a little on the sensitive side, because you're a... You're an idiot. Everyone in this kingdom... At this point, I'm kind of siding with Paz or it's like, these guys probably better off if if the Titan had awoken. And hey, it's the fairy. Thanks to your heroic efforts, Odagon was saved. Your brave determination was the only thing strong enough to stop Pazort. The Titan shall remain in sealed in darkness forever until someone else tries to release the elementals. Yeah, but what happened to me? Where am I? It's normal to be a little disoriented, Mars. This is not Odagon. Eh, that means this is the afterlife. Especially the final seconds. Yeah, I won, but, uh... Pazor used his power to end your life. This place is neither life nor death. Even as we speak. Well, then stop talking. <laughs> stop it. Either let me live or let me die. Can we just... I, I'm really not one for the this, this metaphorical. And we've got Parn still just running through the castle as slowly as possible, it seems. I don't mind telling you that towards the end, I was starting to worry about Mars' ability to win this. I think Mars always knew he'd win, but I don't think he knew the ultimate cost. I love how no one... Yeah, he's the first person to to make this connection. These people are as thick as a sack of hammers. And Kazen just kind of walking at acceleration one speed. Like, that's... Looks like you really did it, and this isn't your home. So... I thought the hours of the Odegan Empire were numbered. I should be kingdom, because you have a king, not an emperor. So... And you're really not a militant force, otherwise you probably would have stopped Pazord a little easier. So... Yeah, I'll tell you about it. I have a feeling that you were even braver than even Sir Giles of old. Yeah, no. Shut your trap. Say, uh, where is Mars? And at this point, Kazen is just like, I'm losing it. And now you treat his efforts like yesterday's garbage? <laughs> You're not worthy to even know what really happened. You ingrates. <laughs> that is exactly why I hate elves. I, I really have a feeling... The, uh... I think he was trying to say Mars bit it. I mean, though, I thought Mars was kind of arrogant, but it'd be terrible if he didn't make it. I really think a lot of this is just the translation. I don't... I can't imagine the original script, everyone in this town being... this derpy. What be, can be keeping Sir Parn? Like, really, this is... No one's thought to question, Hey, where'd Mars go? He went in after. You would think if it was Kazan's doing, 
they would come out together. Like, there's just so much derp about all this. Don't keep us in suspense. What became of Pazort? He's dead. You mean to say that the Black Scourge is finally finished? Yeah. And Sarah, it's like, you... Sarah is... You would think Sarah would be smart enough to be like, something's not right here. What about Mars? Did he help... I mean, shouldn't he be back here by now? She's the only one to ask. Mars was the one who stopped Fazord. He did everything. I was unconscious. Then where is the boy? We must congratulate him. I'm sure I'm certain you're being too modest. Uh, no, I did nothing. We're happy to be saved. We forgot about Mars. Because you are all a bunch of idiots. Sir Mars was the one who resealed the element, stopped Hazard, and said, Yeah, welcome to the... We're all on the same page now. Thank you. He paid the heaviest possible price, just like his father. And now everyone realizes, oh, well. Uh, he loved you. How do you know that? How? What? <laughs> oh. He, he just couldn't find the words because he's mute and he has not said anything this entire game. He's coming back. I know it. Yeah, no. Well. Mars was so brave, he had a steely resolve. He removed the threat of evil for us. Well. And now the princess is crying because her would-be boyfriend is dead. Except again, the love story that kind of comes out of nowhere. The sound of his voice that you never heard. <laughs> oh. Ah. Perhaps I was a little hard on the boy. Yeah, you were kind of a jerk. How will I ever tell his grandfather the news? Oh, yeah. There's simply no other way. Yeah, let's go to Mars's grandfather. Like, Sorry we keep sacrificing your family to save us, but, you know. Let's go back to Grand Seal. Do not be so hasty in your grief. Alright, so Kaze and Sarah, we're going to go back, but the Hobbit Elder showed back up. Except we didn't actually see him, he just started talking. Great things were ahead of you, Mars. But... You were an idiot. Oh dear, the Guardians are coming for you. Our time grows short. Mars like, yeah, no, I'm not going. Death is not a thing easy to embrace. Uh, no. I have four elemental orbs in my possession. Can't I use them to do something magical? Oh, there's something I can do. It's against the written law I am sworn to uphold, but I cannot let you die. Alright, so, uh, since you're not yet dead, there's time for me to place a new soul within you. My punishment for such an act will be severe, but... When you awaken, you'll once again be an Otagon. Alright, so, I don't understand how she could put a new soul in Mars's body, or how that won't... Like, there's... Uh, for the moment, the moment you awaken the world of living, I'll be banished there for eternity. All right, so she gets banished to the labyrinth. To give me a second chance, I it seems very tacked on there to me. Again. All right, so hey, it's the the millennial hermit. Mars is alive? Let me think of a simple way to explain it. That's probably the best way to have them understand. 
After I sensed the resealing of the elementals, I felt a force of great conflict. The two powerful opposing forces were clashing with tremendous power. I could almost see Mars and Pazort trading magic attacks. Because, uh, yeah, I was using magic, so... The battle appeared to be turning in the favor of Pazort, so I went in search of the Gudo Fairy. It never, at one point, was it actually turning into his favor. <laughs> Just as I arrived at the fairy's cave, I heard Pazort's anguish cry as he perished. Greatly relieved, I was t about to tell the fairy that I didn't need her help, when I suddenly heard the cry of another soul. So, Pazort must have, must have dragged Mars into the abyss with him. Before Mars died, I may have been able to help, but after, well, that's another matter. The law clearly states that we are not allowed to change the fate of a person once sealed. Yes, the law, however maddening, is binding upon all magical creatures. So there's a there there's magic laws that you can't bring people back from the It's like the genie from Aladdin. I can't bring people back from the dead. It's not a pretty picture. I don't like doing it. Uh so he learned about this when during the war, so I assume that's either the war in Shining Force 1 or Shining Force 2. I don't remember. Or it could be, um... Yeah, it has to be either one of those two. Because Shining in the Darkness is technically the last game. So, maybe Shining Force CD? So... Despite those risks, the fairy left to find Mars. You mean that she intended to change Mars's, Mars's fate? Um... Did she rescue Mars? All I know for certain is that the fairy left with the intent of rescuing Mars. I love everyone just shaking their head and like, Oh. Well, hey, there was a Mars there. And everyone's just still shaking their heads. Hey, there's Mars! We simply have to wait the outcome. No one except for the princess is looking in that direction. There's... There's a Mars there. Well, actually, you guys can't see it because it's... He's transparent. So, that's that's hilarious, actually. And then we start fading in. Can't you see him? So, yeah, this is the, uh, the transparent sprite issue with the Saturn. Granted, uh, if I were recording a little bit better, it might work. Supposedly, uh, recording in 60 FPS will actually fix that. At least on the Saturn. I don't know about uh, other games, but... Then the fairy succeeded. And we come back to life. And the princess is overjoyed by just repeating our name over and over again. And she leaps towards us, hopefully not impaling herself on the fact that we have our sword drawn. And that's the end of Shining Wisdom! We've got the credits. So... And we've got enemies that we can see. We got the angry chicken thing. Don't like those guys. So yeah, during the credits, I normally talk about my my impressions of the game, my final thoughts. Uh, I I like this game. I know a lot of people do not like this. They consider it the black sheep of the Shining era, or the Camelot era Shining games, because uh, it's it's so different. It's a little a little too cartoony at times. Uh, it's uh, it's a very easy game, especially compared to other, you know, Zelda-like games. Uh, some that are, you know, a little harder, and some that are a little more well balanced. But it's it has its charms. I like it. I always thought it was a good game. It was one of my first impressions of the Sega Saturn in general, so I I have a very you know fond place in my heart for this game, given you know how much I love the Saturn, and this is one of those games where like, I need to get a Saturn for this game. So, and then I just got all the other great Saturn titles. So, but, uh, that's, that's it. I mean, I'm really disappointed that this game will never see the light of day elsewhere, so I'm glad to be able to play this for YouTube so that you guys, uh, in the future can enjoy this game. Uh, I mean, it's not as much fun watching someone else play it as playing it yourself and exploring and, you know, maybe one of these days someone will watch my Let's Play and, you know, get all the treasures I got but then continue exploring and maybe find all the things that I missed. 
because I'm fairly sure I've missed you know, a good number of, of items. So maybe thanks to this Let's Play, someone will be able to, to finally 100% this game, and they'll take the initiative to record it and show off a 100% guide, and, you know, that's all I can hope is that, you know, I can inspire someone else to, to continue playing this game or to enjoy this game that may not have been able to before. So that's, that's really all I, I hope for. I, I said I really enjoy playing this game, and if anyone else out there who has played it has 100% the game, that uh, can tell me, you know, where some of the things that I've missed, so that I can, you know, go back and show them, you know, have everything there. Because the, if there's one thing I know, there's not a hundred percent guide anywhere. There's not a, there's not even very many written guides for this game online, which I think is just kind of a travesty. Because this is one of those games that seems like, because it wasn't as well liked at the time. And because it was never ported, and it probably never will be ported, that it will really just fall into the cracks of history. And that's, that's disappointing to me, because I really hate any game falling into the cracks of history, let alone a game that, you know, I, I've spent so much of my, my youth playing, and the, really the Shining games are what <laughs> helped make my channel. Most of my subscribers have come for these games, they stuck by me during the times that Sega was less than amicable toward their fans. So, like, the Shining Games made my channel, so if there's anything I can do to, to help that, that's, that's it. So, the final uh, statistics, 89% item collection ratio, uh, almost 10 hours of play time, and finished it on 10-13-2015. And that's not actually the... Actually, no, I think that is... No, that's not the right time. That's that's an hour behind. So, um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy my replay of all the Shining games as I go through them. Uh, and let's see what the, the final... After the strain and struggle, sweat and blood, the King of Odegon was saved from the Dark Titan. Due to the tremendous skill exhibited on the quest, Mars became King's first knight. After they learned of Sir Mars' return, Parn and <laughs> Kazan and Sarah left for Grand Seal, but the days of joy and serenity did not last long. Sir Mars has started another adventure, though he's not certain where to begin. He's decided to find and rescue the fairy of Gudo Valley. But knowing Mars, I have faith that he will in time rescue the fairy, and then we can start making the next generation of brave adventurers. So that's that's neat. They even kind of uh oh god, you step on the the end and you just kind of start wandering around. That's that's weird. So yeah, we have the the cast bowing to everyone. So that's uh that's it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this let's play. I really enjoyed replaying it. I will see you for other Shining projects as I continue to redo them and do the ones that I didn't get a chance to finish. And I will see you in all sorts of other new projects that I'm able to bring to the channel. So thank you all for your continued support. I'll see you next time. Till then, later everyone.